Do you know the top ways to safeguard your social security number? I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy. If you live here in the United States, you know that there are no nine numbers more important than your social security number. Every aspect of our lives are tied to that number, and if it gets into the wrong hands, it can wreak havoc in your life. The Federal Trade Commission reported over 95,000 reports of government imposter scams last year alone. So here are the five types of social security number frauds to watch out for this year. Criminal identity theft, business impersonation, medical identity theft, synthetic identity theft, and child identity fraud. So how do you keep these nine important numbers safe? My first tip, hide your physical social security card. It sounds simple. If you put your social security card in your wallet and it gets lost or stolen, well, losing that card is way worse than losing the money that may be in there or your ID. Memorize your social security number and put the card in a fireproof safe or filing cabinet that can be locked. Next, use an identity theft or fraud protection service. They can monitor your social security number and alert you if it's sold on the dark web or being used to open an account, which will help you shut down scammers before it's too late. My next tip, if you've got to fill out a form using your social security number, do it online so that you don't risk a piece of paper with that number getting into the wrong hands. Next, only sign up for a social security account on the official Social Security Administration website. Because only accounts can be created per number, it is safer for you to claim it so that no one else can. Another important step is to combat child identity theft by opening accounts for your children's social security numbers. Then you can monitor your kids' social security numbers to make sure there's no movement until they're old enough to really use it. Next, secure your documents. Some records, such as income tax filings, contain your social security number. If you keep these digitally, you want to encrypt the document or folder or make it password protected. Keep offline documents in a safe or shred them before throwing them out. Finally, opt out of inputting your social security number if it is not necessary on a form. If a future employer requests it, double check why they need it. While it's usually for a background check, you should always be aware of what your social security number is being used for. Want to learn how to protect your identity? Head to cyberguy.com slash identity theft or simply head to my website and search identity theft. And while you're there, sign up for my free newsletter.